Hi, thank you for watching. On today's video, we're going to show you backup and front facing cameras on your new Hanwood radio. Stay tuned. So you have your new Kenwood radio and it will do a front facing and a rear facing camera. We're going to show you how to turn it on and get it all functioning and what to do. But before we do that I want to answer one question that is asked quite frequently. On the front facing camera or the back facing camera does it DVR, I mean does it record? And the answer is no. Record features aren't built into the radios yet, hopefully one day they will, right now no. But so what we've set up is we have a camera facing towards the rear we have the same camera facing towards the front. Now these are just your standard cube style cameras, no brand in particular. Now on the radio, it has an RCA that says front and an RCA that says rear. It's that simple. You plug in the front, you plug in the rear. The other wire you have is a purple white and it'll be labeled reverse. That wire needs to go to the positive reverse trigger. Some cars you can get that at the light, some cars you can hook it up to one of these cool smart harnesses, but it needs to be hooked up. Okay, the other thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you hook up the power and ground for the camera, which is typically a red and a black, to something other than the light, meaning you want to have them on all the time when the key is on. We suggest hooking them up to the red and black wire that's located behind the radio. That's going to be accessory and ground. Mm -hmm. What that'll do is when you turn the key on, the cameras will go active, and that's important, and we'll show you why in a second. It's been a second, let's get to it. Wanna go into our menu, select setup. Now they have their own icon just for cameras. So anything involving cameras is gonna be in this page. So we'll click it. The first thing is rear camera interruption. Click on. Next is parking guidelines. Parking guidelines are those cool little backup guidelines that some cameras have, some cameras don't. These particular cameras don't. So we're gonna go ahead and turn those on and we're gonna go into setup. And this will allow us to go in and adjust these. We can use these arrows to move the highlighted box in or out or up or down. And then when we're done, we just hit the back arrow. If we don't like what we have, we can select initialize, it'll reset, boom, you're done. Next, we have front camera. Now these are reverse cameras, which means they're set up to flip the image. We wanna make sure that our camera, it's going in the front of the car, we need to flip it back to regular. So front camera mirror image, go ahead and select yes. That'll flip it so that left is left and right is right. Now that we have all this set up, let's go ahead and get out of here. We'll go back to our main menu. Now on the radio itself, it has a camera button. Most all, well, all these radios that have front rear cameras have a cam button. It may be written on the top or it may be an actual dedicated button. In this case, it's a dedicated button, so it's like camera. So the first thing it's going to do is give us our front cam. As you can see, it says F cam right here. If we tap in the middle of the radio, picture an H right here in the middle of the radio. Right here, right here, if you see that little car that appears real quickly, this is switching between front and rear image. And then down here is off. So if we want to go back, boom, select it to the rear, select off, hit it again. If you notice, the front camera keeps popping up. The reason why it's doing that is because nine times out of 10, when you want to go to camera, you want to see the front image because you're pulling into something. Okay, you don't necessarily need to see the reverse cam, but if you tap it, it'll go ahead and show you reverse. Now, hit X, get out of that. The purple white wire is for reverse. So when we shift our car into reverse, it's gonna go ahead and pull up those backup lines the backup lines will only come on when it's in the re when it's physically in reverse. Just in case you want to know, these are what are called Alpine bulk cameras. Uh, they're really not for retail sales, so to speak. They're for add-ons when you buy a radio. Um, we like to use for the front-facing camera the Pack Audio VCI BK1. It's a really tiny camera that fits pretty much in any grill. Little tiny guy here comes with a different, couple different mounts. It fits in there really nice. Um, this is what we like to use. It also has an arrow so it shows you which way it's up. Uh, backup cameras, whichever one you want to use. There again, we like to use the pack audio stuff. 
Uh, we'll put a link in the show notes to these things just in case you're interested and you don't want to have to be like, ah, so check there first. Um, any questions? Sure. You sure? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's good. All right, well, end the show. All right, so thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And as usual, if you have any questions, like I said earlier, leave them in the show notes below. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Do all that cool stuff. And we'll see you later next time. Bye.